Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing my Windows Surface Pro laptop and explaining why I think it's the best laptop for college. <laughs> In my vlogs, you guys see that I'm always studying and you guys always ask me what laptop do I use? So when I first started college, I was just like any other freshman who wanted a Mac, so I decided to buy a MacBook. I got like the cheapest MacBook you could possibly get and it was still like in the low thousands, but I did get like the free beats cause you know, like the back to school sale, whatever. But after a year of having that MacBook, it started giving me a lot of problems. It started glitching, it would freeze, it wouldn't charge. I was about to upgrade to a MacBook Pro, but my friend always had a Windows surface and he like convinced me to get one and I never looked back. Now before I tell you why I think that the Windows Surface Pro is the best laptop for any college student, I want to thank today's video sponsor which is PDF Element by Wondershare. PDF Element by Wondershare is an all-in-one PDF editor which offers the easiest way to create, edit, convert, annotate, and even sign PDF documents for Windows or Mac. PDF Element is by far the best Acrobat alternative and it's just a really simple PDF editor to use, it's really convenient to have, and it just makes your productivity a lot smoother. It has a simple, really easy to use interface that just makes using your PDF documents a complete breeze. As a college student, there are many times when I have to use PDF documents or convert documents into PDF and it can be really complicated. I have to go through so many different steps and sometimes it still doesn't work. But luckily with PDF Element by Wondershare, anything that you wanna to do to your PDF document can be done. So no more hassle, confusion, or hard work because with PDF PDF Element by Wondershare, you can do it all. I actually have PDF Element on my Surface because I needed a PDF organizer and just like a PDF tool that would be really easy to use. I'm gonna be leaving a link to PDF Element down below in my description along with a discount code so that you can use it for this semester or just any professional need. All right, but let's start talking about this computer right here, the Windows Surface Pro, and why I think that it's just the best laptop you can have as a college student. First, let's talk about the basic specs. And just to let you know, I really don't know much about computers except for like the really basics. So don't think that you have to be like a computer genius to watch this video. So I bought this Surface Pro 5 about two years ago and it still works like brand new. My Surface Pro has 250 gigabytes of memory, about four gigabytes of RAM and a 1.6 processor. I think I bought this for like 600 or $700. To be honest, I really don't remember too well, but it was much cheaper than a Mac. Now, if you want to buy the latest Surface Pro, that's going to be the Surface Pro 7 and it ranges anywhere from $750 to about $2,000 depending on the specs that you choose. In terms of basic specs for college, this pretty much does everything I need it to. I will say though that the only downside is that the battery dies pretty fast and some apps and websites don't run like crazy fast. They might like slow down a little bit, but for college, college websites, you know, you're Googling, all that basic stuff, writing research papers, this works great. Now next up, let's talk about the design of this thing. The design and functionality is by far the number one reason that I bought this laptop. It has a 2.3 inch screen, which is perfect for writing and reading notes, but also reading e-textbooks. As you can see, it is a two in one, which means that it can be used as a laptop or you can detach it and it can be used as a tablet. Now me personally, if I'm feeling really lazy and I just wanna like passively study, I use it as a tablet. But when I'm in class or just like grinding, studying, writing notes, I attach it together like this and I use it as a laptop. It has this really big hinge in the back, which makes the screen really easy to adjust. And the keyboard is also really flexible and you can place it in many positions. Obviously, when you're using your laptop, you're gonna have it open, but when you close it, it looks really nice. It actually looks like a modern notebook. It's super lightweight and easy to carry. Like there's times when I don't even throw it in my book bag and I just carry it in my hand because it just feels super nice to carry. Also, it has two cameras, one in the back and one in the front. So it'll be perfect for all your zoom necessities. The next thing that I want to talk about when it comes to this laptop is the fact that it's touchscreen. The fact that this laptop is touchscreen, in my opinion, just makes it a lot better than a Mac for college. Yeah, sure, you can buy an iPad or iPad Pro, but at the end of the day, this is a real computer, it's a laptop, while the other devices are just tablets. I take full advantage of the touchscreen display, especially when I'm writing notes and annotating my readings. Along with the pen 
pen, you can make your notes a lot more visual. And the more visual your notes are, the easier they are to understand and the better you will do for your test. I remember when I had my MacBook, like on one side I had my Mac and then on the other side I would have like a journal or a paper to like draw my notes or just like draw designs, figures, anything that would help me study better. And it was just annoying having like two separate things to look at. But with this laptop, I could do it all in one. From my experience as a college student, I just think that with this laptop, it's a lot easier to take notes and study your notes as well. Now, the last thing that I briefly want to talk about is software and app compatibility. Like I said before, a lot of Apple lovers are going to be like, well, an iPad Pro does the same thing. It has a keyboard, it has a pen. You can take really good notes. But at the end of the day, this just handles more software because it is a laptop. You can do so much more with a laptop in terms of software, plug in a USB, edit things, move things around. And this is super important in college because sometimes you're gonna have to download like specific drives or softwares for like a class or just to do like basic things around campus like print. And usually tablets won't allow those downloads like a laptop would. Now I'm not saying that this laptop can handle every single software. Yes, there are some really good software and apps that are only for Mac. So before you decide to buy a laptop, make sure you know what software you're gonna be using and then make a purchase. Now my favorite app or software by far on this computer is OneNote. Yes, you can download OneNote on a Mac, but I just like using it a lot more on this laptop. Honestly, I don't even use paper anymore for notes. I don't use like any journals, notebooks, None of that because all of my notes are on OneNote on my Windows Surface Pro. OneNote keeps like all of my notes insanely organized. And what I love is that it syncs like into the cloud. So I could still use like my iMac here in the back to like study. But to be honest, I never use this Mac to study. I mainly use this. Another thing to keep in mind is that a lot of colleges actually offer Microsoft Suite for free. So that's like Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and you're just able to download and use it very easily on a Windows computer compared to a Mac. I personally hate using Word on a Mac. I think it's terrible. But on my windows, it's just like, it, I don't know, it just feels right. So if you watch the video all the way to this part, you're still probably thinking to yourself, should I get a Windows Surface Pro? And my answer is yes, you definitely should. I recommend the Windows Surface Pro over a Mac any day for any college student. I've converted about like three friends that used to have MacBooks into getting one of these and they love them, I love them. For college, it's just the move. Now don't get me wrong, I still love Apple products. As you can see, I have my iMac right here that I use mainly for editing, but for school, studying, note taking, I think that Windows is the move. But guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with my weekly uploads. That is it for me, but always remember to stay hydrated.